You all have business in the wilds. The gates open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Is that Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. If you just bandage me up, I can get back myself. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Um, I... I've got to get out of here. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. That's true. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That is... reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. seems so excessive. Stop. 
Ah, I was hoping for something more exciting. of these ones. Oh. I'm hard. all right. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right.
Yes. Not a chance. Chance. What now?
Well, well. What have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder? Come into these darkspawn-filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey. What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Tis a tower no longer. The wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you? Yes. Swooping is bad. She's a witch of the wild, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there. Elves are not frightened little boys. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. Now that is a proper civil greeting, even here in the wilds. You may call me Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Twas my mother, in fact. Hmm. There is a sensible request. <laughs> I like you. I'd be careful. First it's, I like you, but then zap. Frog time. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'll be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your elven mind give you a different viewpoint? What do you believe? Oh, if you must protest so quickly, perhaps I need not ask. So much about you is uncertain, and yet I believe. Do I? Why, it seems I do. So this is a dreaded Witch of the Wilds. Witch of the Wilds, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> they did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True, they came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Mm. 
such manners. Always in the last place you look. Like stockings. Oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. My bar is stable for now, but not improving. Unless I get that herb I told you about, there's not much hope. Let me see. Yeah, that's exactly it. Wonderful. Yeah, give me a moment and I'll make this into an ointment. <laughs> he looks better already. I'm sure he'd thank you himself if he could. A day, maybe two. There's enough ointment for him to make a full recovery. Why not come back after the battle? Perhaps we can see about imprinting him on you. Maybe. It's likely he understands you're responsible for curing him. Mabari are at least as smart as your average tax collector. Come back after the battle and just... Or take another look. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. So? Brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. What? But... You can't do that! Ah, God! I did not see that coming. What? What in Andraste's name did you do that for? Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't give you the right to go and kill anyone you please. Explain yourself! Well, maybe. But I wonder if someone else will disagree. You've got some nerve, Grey Warden or no. Well, no skin off my teeth. When they ask me why he's dead, that's what I'll tell them. done, naturally. So you return from the wilds. Have you been successful? Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. 
With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had scrolls. They were both very... odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now, rather than later. If only such secrecy were unnecessary, and all understood the necessity of such sacrifice. Sadly, that will never be so. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the blight. You saw those darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I am... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood, and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures? As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power, and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith. Step forward. forward, Jory. But I have a wife, a child. Had I known... There is no turning back. No. You ask too much. Th there is no glory in this. I am sorry. The joining is not yet complete. 
You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Such is what it takes to be a Grey Warden. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the King. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. Logain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Caelan. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road? I understand congratulations are in order. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Logain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Archdemon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we Circle of Mage... We will not trust any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. 
Enough. This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Logain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Tern Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the King's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. We soil our drawers, that's what. If it does, leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan. May the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. plan will work, Your Majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here.
Help me, they're everywhere. You, you're Grey Wardens, aren't you? The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. Darks, eh? I'm
Baker's breath. What are these Darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the Horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. <laughs> hey, you're right. I guess there is a silver lining here if you think about it. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Taron Loghain will be waiting for the signal. Those games better be ready to charge us. Signal. The king is depending on us. I sent some dark spawn. <laughs>
They just crop up everywhere, don't they? I'm Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not do as I command? Pull out! All of you, let's move!
Your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and we are in the wilds where I am bandaging your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. Of that I have no doubt. Your friend has been inconsolable since Mother told him the news. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. I... you were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. I will stay and make something to eat. I don't think so. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You, you're alive. I thought you were dead, for sure. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The? Flemeth? From the legends? Davath was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not?
Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An Archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. Kaelin already summoned them. They'll come if they can, but I expect Loghain has already taken steps to stop them. We must assume they won't arrive in time. The throne? He's the Queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The Landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Of course, the treaties. Grey Wardens can demand aid from Dwarves, Elves, Mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a Blight. I may be old, but Dwarves, Elves, Mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. No, no, thank you. You are the Grey Wardens here, not I. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve, or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the Horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens, do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. If 
<laughs> you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Oh, tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Honora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Van Teagan, please! Your Majesty. Your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Van Tegan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? I think he was out there looking for you. He's... 
chosen you. Mabari are like that. They call it imprinting. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? Wonderful. He's not mangy. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. <laughs> Led by an elf, of all things. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers, and you're free to move on. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Logain put quite a bounty on any who are found. What do you say, gents? For that kind of bounty, we can retire. Let's be heroes to the kingdom. Now, let's see. Which one? All right, we surrender. We're, we're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. Yes, I'm a criminal. I admit it. I apologize. I'm not going down without a fight! Huh. I'm off. Now this should be fun! Alright. I'm off. Yes. Going. What do you need? Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? 
before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. Yes, I know. I was just thinking. No wonder it took so long, then. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. But we need to decide what our general plan is for afterwards, don't we? I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. I can give you directions, if you like. He'll be at the castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. There must be other Dalish in Ferelden, in fact I'm sure of it. If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully they will still be there. We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. That will be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. Then you have a plan. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Just how smart are Mabari supposed to be, anyway? Do you think they understand everything we say? Oh, is that so? You could just be listening to the tone of my voice. You could be an utter moron for all we know. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lotherings lost. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. Best of luck wherever you might go. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? I mention profit? He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. 
is only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. You want me to bid against him? We don't have that kind of coin. We have nothing to offer but our gratitude. Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. And hear more belly aching? I'd rather take my goods back to Denerim. You wouldn't dare. I'm leaving. And who's gonna make me leave him? You? I hope the Darkspawn choke on your cheap hides. Ah! I suppose it couldn't be helped. Maker, help us all. The Chanters are still operating their board. How oh, that's dedication. As if we needed more fighting. Here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? Have you seen my mother? Some mean men with swords came, and mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see her. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. I will, but only if I don't find Mother first. So, um, are you really an elf? Father says elves aren't very nice, but you're nicer than everybody here. Thank you for helping me. Do you really know what's going on here? I really wonder how much of it you understand. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. None to be had. Balin has all the traps in the village in his fields. I, I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <coughs> Ever since Good King Kaelin passed, refugees and soldiers have been passing through. I'm the elder here, and I've my hands full making sure refugees don't turn to petty theft, or worse. <coughs> Sir Bryant at the Chantry is seeing to matters of defense and such. He'd have more of an ear for your type. 
Too much to do, and not enough time. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travelers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. How dare you accuse me of thievery? I saw you take the supplies from my car. Your grassland eyes are inept. A chase end would you never stoop to petty theft. Of you the marsh army. folk are all thieves and liars. Enough! People here are already desperate and frightened. They don't need you two coming to blows. But what about my food? I said enough! Shok Gebasi Tisra. You aren't one of my captors. I have nothing to say that would amuse you, Elf. Leave me in peace. I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. You mock me, or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for Mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, that's what I would have expected. I suggest you leave me to my fate. No doubt. What help do you seek? The Blight. Are you a Grey Warden, then? Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Farewell, then. Eaten alive by Darkspawn. That's cruel. I wonder why the revered mother's so afraid of him. Terran low gain is the new region. And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devons. One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof once, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the Maker. Unless it's the chant of light, no. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant, then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. 
better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at Darkspawn hands. There! One of their minions is already amongst us! This man bears their evil stench! Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? Be my guest. I've no urge to try out that axe of his. I watched the Black Horde descend on my people! Darkness swallowed the marshes whole! This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us! My family, my clan, those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here, but we cannot escape the dog spawn! No! I have seen them! You cannot run! You cannot fight! There is nothing to do! No hope is left! Are you calling me a coward? I... I have shamed my ancestors. But the blackness will come. <laughs> He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. Our courage. But there's nothing we can do. Then, what shall we do? We must try to go north somehow. There's word of Darkspawn stragglers that have spread to the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. If he were well? W what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill, or worse. That is my primary concern. If Arl Eamon were well, I have little doubt he would assist you. My quest, however, remains the same. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlessa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Good luck to you, and to you, Alistair. I hope to one day see you again. And you, Sir Donald. And when the Maker spoke, the chant of life scattered in the darkness. The word dispelled fear and ignorance.
Ah, it is good to see you again. Now then, what can I do for you? What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact, but my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. Let him hear our unwavering faith. Let him hear our righteous dedication. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. I am the revered mother of this Chantry. Traditionally, those who seek my blessing tithe first. Might I suggest 30 silver? Thank you, my son. What can I do for you then? It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. Your custody. And who might you be? A Grey Warden. Oh dear, I will have to ask you to leave before you bring trouble on our heads. To defend against the Blight? Perhaps that is a form of atonement. But are you certain you can control him? I... No, I cannot. There will be too much trouble for us if we are seen cooperating with you. You have not heard. The Tern claims that the Grey Wardens are responsible for the King's death. There is a price on your head. Lay low, and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... Again, we have already discussed this, and I told you I would not release the creature. I cannot. Grey Warden though you may be, please leave the Kunari to his fate. Now we threaten priests. How fun. Whoa, whoa. Let's not get out of hand here. What is the meaning of this? You would threaten me with violence? Your Reverence, please. We are on an important mission. Let us take the Kunari off your hands. I beg you. I see. And if not, I am to be assaulted. Is this what we have come to? No, Your Reverence. I will not allow that to happen. I have more important matters to concern me. Here, take the key to the creature's cage and be gone. Do not return. Let all mankind be humble. Let all repeat the charms of life. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. And when the mix is spoken, the chant of light is gathered.
let's talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps, you would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more? You wish something more of me. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. And once I am free, you expect me to go with you. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Yes. Foolish creatures.
Might be a nice help in it for us. Hmm. All right. Someone help us! Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. The name's Bodon Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Grey wounds. Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect... There's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune, though. Goodbye. Grey wounds. Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. Thank you kindly for all your assistance. What do you wish of me? We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. Thank you, Carnage, for all your assistance. Let him take notice and shine upon thee, for thou hast done his work this day. Beasts.
alert. The path of righteousness is full of hardship, but the Maker smiles upon its travelers. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. Do you speak to... Well, look what we have here then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about an elf by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen one. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Tern Logan claims the Grey Wardens betrayed the king. Or haven't you heard? Enough talk. Take the Warden into custody. Kill this sister, and anyone else that gets in your way. Right. Let's make this quick. An enemy lies ahead. Hold oh, on. Oh, no. Enough! I'm off. Go. Make a preserve us. Yes! Let's I'm end off. it. All right. All right, you've won. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson, and we can all stop fighting now. I was there! The turn pulled us out of a trap. The wardens led the king to his death. The turn could do nothing. W what do you want to tell him? I'll tell him right away. Now, thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. Save my life. I assure you, I can handle myself. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. They said you were a Grey Warden. I'm surprised you're an elf. But elves must want the Blight defeated as much as humans, no? I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. That and the Maker wants me to go with you. Then... you believe me? <gasps> I knew the Maker had sent a true dream. A vision that by serving you, I serve his holy plan. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Vashadan. Indeed.
<laughs> I heard what you did with the other merchant. Got what he deserved. <laughs> well, I still don't have food to sell. You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Check the chanter's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Uh, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about, uh, poison? I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. Thanks. I might have some ingredients in stock. Don't really know what you need. Any luck with that poison? Or you're here to see my stock? I don't know what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen and make her forgive me. I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! Could see we
Bad dreams, huh? Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. What do you need? Is that for me? Really? Wow! I'm... Wow! Ah, it's good to see you, my townly rescuer. Bodon Fedic, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a Grey Warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please, tell me. People are disappearing all over the country. Folks on the road say they are seeing wagons abandoned, belongings left in the middle of the road with no one to be seen anywhere. Remote farm holds are left empty. Horses left without riders. And no corpses to be found. The dark spawn are taking them. There's no other explanation. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my...